Good morning from Colorado Custom Coachworks. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna put this plate over this piece of metal this morning. I got uh, Jamie from uh, our most excellent family road trip. He's uh, actually working here. He's gonna give me a hand, give me assist. Got the GoPro already going. We got a couple dots marked. Basically, we're just gonna kind of uh, drill a couple, secure it, anchor it in, and then, well, you'll see. We'll drill from the back, and then uh, we got these nice rivets. So, thanks, dude, for the assist this morning. No this is definitely a two man job. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, I, I really appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks. Hey, <laughs> uh, can uh, so, knock it out. Yeah, so Jamie's been working here, I don't know, about a month or so, and these guys know way more about metal than I do, so basically what we did was, we were using something called a Clinko. Clico. 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 So, temporary rivet. Temporary rivet. Awesome. So I'm drilling out from the inside, if you didn't catch that from the time lapse, and then we're putting these temporary rivets in, and now I'm going to go on the inside and drill out my uh, rivet pattern from the existing screw holes, which are right behind this. Aftermath. Had to sand down these edges because this time around I'm using a product called Panel Bond. I guess it's uh, for <laughs> bonding panels. And uh, so yeah, we got all our screw holes here. These are uh, uh, for the rivets. They go into the bus. I haven't yet done the bottom one. I'll probably do that once it is uh, once it's uh, kind of hanging and secured on there. And uh, yeah, so. This thing is almost ready to close that uh, previous window door thing. And uh, I gotta say, I'm actually pretty excited for this because it's gonna look nice and clean, flat, and smooth, unlike the door, which had all kinds of bends and warps and uh, you know things like that. So, very excited for this thing. And also, I'm <laughs> excited to use an RV window for the first time. It's gonna be 36 inches wide by 17. It's going to come up to about here or something like that. And then the top part I might paint white to blend in the rest of the bus and then this whole corner thing will kind of disappear. All right, here's the update. Primer, I primed the inside of it. Okay, another update. I had this hole and little hole, little hole. I uh, needed to address that before we put the sheet metal on. Also, this is ready for a product called Panel Bond. So, so there. I was outside, Miles was inside, finishing up the tile here. I think I can step everywhere I'm stepping, but look at this, man, I'm gonna be pooping in style. Uh, he put up a uh, accent wall made out of glass, so uh, yeah, the only parts we got left is the top part and then the sides. And I think we're gonna add another two by two here just to uh, have a little, like, I don't know. Extra room for the door to close. What do you think? This is really looks good, man. Cool. Great job, dude. High five. Coolest shower I've seen in a bus so far. I think I might have one of the best schoolie showers. What do you guys think? Comment below. I uh, I was playing with the uh, what you call this morning? Uh, what is this stuff called? Anyways, whatever. Uh. News, I gotta go, I gotta leave. My two months are up, I've been here for two months. Two months, can you believe that? So uh, I just wanna say thank you to Chris and JT. Everybody who's been here has been amazing to uh, hang out with, and be around, I appreciate all the help and the hospitality and putting me up for two months. I really appreciate it. Primer, it's called Primer. Anyways, today I am putting on the window thing with some stuff called Panel Bond. Uh, Jamie uh, is going to give me a hand. We're going to cover that thing up in a second. All right, now I want to share with you guys a really cool mod that I figured out we could do on the bus. I'm going to put a lock on the back. And it fits right into the hole, which, um, you know, had that uh, little handle before. So all I did was I put two pieces together. This flat plate with some screws. you got to cut the screws to length. Got to cut this little deal of length too. 
and then I put this. Well, technically three if you include, you know, that little nice looking part there on the end. But let me just show you. Now, these ones are already screwed up. This is what happens if you uh, don't cut your screws. You will poke through and uh, dent the, uh, the keyhole. <laughs> I bought three of these things so far. Uh, this is what the uh, back side looks like. Now, I had to reverse this part, so all you do is take this screw off, you flip this thing upside down, and then you make sure that the prongs, I think, yeah, the prongs go forward. You'll see on the back, there's like a little um, deal that, uh, you know, moves it. If it doesn't operate, correctly when you put it back together you did it wrong also this plate here the silver plate on the back it also has prongs and they both have to be facing the same direction so just a heads up if you think you, uh, you ruined it you didn't you just got to put it back together correctly all right now all we got to do next is see you just line this thing up and again I cut that a little bit short you line this thing up and then boom you got yourself a, uh, a locking door mechanism, which you can open from the inside, and it's key from the outside. So I don't plan on opening this from the inside, uh, so I will be just uh, using the key for it. Because I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. You take this thing off, right? Okay, so these are the prongs that I'm talking about. These two things have to be uh, on the side of the lock mechanism right here. And this is how you uh, take this thing out. You just pull, right? And it comes from the store. I got this, these at Lowe's. You have to go in the gate hardware section, all right? And see, that's where that's where the prongs can get messed up, right? So make sure the uh, those little, let me just take this out. See, make sure these tabs are towards the lock, okay? And then all you do is you press on the spring. This might be a little bit hard one-handed. But you press on these uh, spring. All right, hang on, let me take a commercial break. Okay. The spring goes back in there. Now those prongs are down. Now, if you move this without, uh, if this goes up, it's not gonna work. If it goes up like that, it's not gonna work. If it goes up like that, it's not gonna work. They gotta be down. Now, if you don't, the reason for the plate is to keep this from jumping up. Watch what happens. I'm gonna press this uh, thing and then the uh, tabs will, see? That's the wrong position right there. You're not gonna get any action. So. You gotta keep that like so, press down, match the tabs up on this one, put it back, all right? And then screw it back into place. You get the idea. This took me <laughs> several days to figure out. I actually thought I bought the wrong uh, uh, thing there. So it's a little on the tight side. So uh, anyways, um, yeah. Oh, actually, see, that's how you know it's messed up. It's at the wrong... Uh, at the wrong spot so anyways I'll fix this before I take it back all right next step whatever you uh, drill in some holes you snap the ones they come with and then you use slightly larger ones which are a little bit stronger so heads up <laughs> I almost uh, really screwed up because look at how deep these things go they actually go through the other side so I'm gonna have to go get alternative uh, screws and uh, yeah that was a close call so I would say you don't really need super long ones, you just need to go through the metal right there, so maybe three quarter inch would be fine. Okay. All right, this is the, uh, the final look of, of this thing. It works really well. Uh, I'm not saying it's the best thing, but it is a thing, it'll work. Uh, I did go ahead and use uh, uh, metal screws, different than the ones that they uh, gave me. And uh, no bumps, no protrusions. They took the other ones back even though I totally messed up with those other screw things, but anyways, that's just how life works sometimes. So check this out. Well, should remove this first. And then what you can do, see, it just auto closes and auto locks and you just open it and it opens, but uh, you just, you know, turn it and it opens. But it would be nice to have a little handle or something just so you don't put too much pressure on the, uh, the lock mechanism itself, but this isn't going anywhere. So yeah, so that worked out well. Also, looks like today I'm gonna to be packing up. I'm gonna head over to Reed's place, do whatever we can do over there, and uh, say goodbye to the guys at some point, probably today. This is what's left of me inside Colorado Custom Coachworks. 
Um, I packed up, wasn't all that exciting. It took about 24 hours, it was rather exhausting. I got all my belongings, I had a couple things on these shelves. This is my storage. <coughs> this is where I ended up for the last spot. I think I got all my tools. I swept up, I put kitty litter over a little uh, vegetable oil. I don't think I'm missing anything. I left some scrap wood for, uh, for these guys here, including some of the cedar panels uh, on the roof, hickory, one by fours, you know, things like that, a couple two by fours. You never know when it can come in handy, you know? So, uh, yeah, I am heading over to Reed's um, after today. The guys needed uh, space in the shop. I'm very grateful for uh, being hosted here for the past two months, so, um, yeah. So if you guys want to DIY something or if you want to contract out, you know who to call. Uh, right here in Denver. Um, so all that I'm going to do for the rest of today is, uh, oh, there's my measuring tape. It's on the roof. I thought I lost it. Uh, <laughs> the only things left I got to put on the solar panels. I got to put on, screw on the deck. Miles is going to come back and help me with the deck. And then if you guys remember, we reinstalled windows, but we didn't have this uh, metal piece here. So uh, now I do, and I'm going to try and get a nice clean one of these guys and uh, use it on the spot where it needs that little, you know, piece of channel stuff. So uh, I'm going to bring this piece of wood that uh, Eric uh, gave us, left us, and uh, that will conclude this part. God, this seems like a never-ending bus project, doesn't it? I know you do. Feel free to agree with me in the comments. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get this thing done before Jamie's van build party. But it will be out there. Steve will be out there. Eric will be out there. Mojo Bus badge. Uh, and um, I was hoping to paint uh, the bus. I don't even have a name for the bus. Does anybody have any recommendations on the name? <laughs> um, so yeah, but uh, I was hoping to paint but we didn't yet, and uh, so yeah, onward to other places. You said you were